Unit 4, Topic C, Extend Queries with Criteria, and this is a continuation from the first video. The next step in selecting particular data from a query is, instead of simply selecting a particular field and putting it on the query grid for display, to use the criteria in the query grid. Now, the criteria allows us to make a selection from a particular field. For instance, we know that from the table customers, there's a field company, and we know that there are uh, entities like company A, company B, company C, etc. And if we want to restrict the output of this query to a particular company, as an example, we would enter the selection criteria here in the criteria uh, row of the criteria grid of, of the query grid. We would enter the criteria in the criteria row of the query grid. Now, it is important to understand that particular criteria are linked to the different data types that we discussed earlier. We know that some of the common data types are text-based and some of the others are number-based. Text-based criteria are always going to be entered in quotes. For instance, if I want company A to be displayed, I'm going to open quotes, type company A, and it is important to type it exactly as it is in the table itself. If you make a spelling mistake here, Access is not clever enough to notice that and the resulting query would be either nonsense or false. If I press enter now, I carry on to the criteria for the next field and so forth. But for now, let's just understand what we're trying to uh, do in this query. We are trying to show the company, the customer's first and last name, the city where the company resides, and the particular orders for that company only for company A. And we know that because we've selected that criteria under the customer's field, and we said that we're looking for company A. If I run the query now using the Run button, the resulting query data sheet will only show company A because that is what we selected for. Taking it back into the query design view, if I had made a mistake and not put company A as a text string in quotes, I would run into all sorts of trouble because that would not be recognized and in fact when it looks like a string, when it looks like text, Access is going to automatically enclose the criteria in quotes. So all text, which technically in Access are called strings, must be enclosed in quotes. That is a very important consideration. The other common data type that we use in queries is the number data type. And to illustrate that, I'm going to remove that criteria and let's go look for a field that is number based, for instance, um, the order amount. Let's take shipping fee as an example. I'm adding shipping fee into the query and when I run the query, I can see that shipping fee there is an amount. Now, amount, all amounts, all currency data items, data types, are number-based. So if I want to restrict a particular query on, a, an, on an amount or on a number, the way to do that would be to go back into the query design. And let's say I'm looking for all of the customers whose orders have a shipping a shipping fee of 300 Rand. 
When I enter 300 into the query criteria, you will see that it's not enclosed in quotes. It is simply a number. And understanding this query now, what we're asking is, give us a list of all the customers with their orders for which the shipping fee is 300 Rand exactly. When I run the query, I can see that Company F is a company based in Francisco. It placed two orders on two separate dates and the shipping fee for those two orders were exactly 300 Rand. This is one of the ways in which we can use a simple selection queries to ask a question and get a simple result from the query. I'm taking us back into the query design and let's elaborate a little bit on the different ways that we can expand the criteria and make them do more. I'm deleting that 300 Rand value and what I want to show you now is that instead of simply saying a criteria is equal to something, there are different ways of saying a particular query criteria could be more than or less than or more than and equal to or less than and equal to or some value between one or another value and to explain that I'm going to open in the help function a list of all the comparison operators you are welcome to uh, do this and research this on your own using access help. If I, in the help search criteria I simply type comparison operators and press enter. The uh, third entry there says use a parameter to make a query for uh, make a query ask for uh, input or restrict data input using validation rules or right at the bottom of the first page examples of access query criteria and when I scroll down we can see a whole lot of different items and their criteria. The first one is the one that we did in our example is to simply enclose a text string in quotes. The second one is an operator that says not. So using the not operator in front of a particular criteria we are able to say I want to see everything except that which I'm specifying in the criteria or a very interesting one is the one that begins with the word or the operator like and what like does together with the asterisk is to display a list of everything that starts with a particular string or a particular character and going like going down the list there are a whole lot of others and I would invite you to work through them by yourself for now I'm going to give you one example and I'm going to take shipping fee out of the query by simply deleting it. I'm right clicking and let's revert. I'm selecting it and pressing delete on the keyboard to delete it and let's for instance say if I run this query I want uh, all of my customers which are not in New York. So let's see if we can find some customers here. There's a lot of customers here that are in Seattle, New York, Los Angeles, etc. But let's for instance design a query that says I want to look at everybody who's not in New York. There's New York and we can see that company D is in New York and if we take this query back into the design view and we say for customer city, let's just start off by saying 
New York is the customer city. You'll see that that string is automatically enclosed in quotes. When I run this query, I simply get company D. If I put an operator in front of the query that says not New York, and I run this query again, you will now see that we are showing a list of all the customers that are not based in New York. If I scroll down that list, I can see New York nowhere on this list because New York has now been excluded. Similarly, there are a whole range of different comparison operators, uh, logical operators, conditional operators that apply to the different criteria.